Good morning. Welcome back to JPCE Spiritual Talk. It's Jerry Campbell. This morning's devotional, God's Presence. Small reading from Joshua, chapter 1, verse 5, out of the Old Testament. Before we get into our morning devotional, we start out in opening prayer. We're going to ask the Lord, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because we're going to ask the Lord to shine to our hearts, our loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and hope the eyes are mine. That we may understand your teachings in Scripture. Help us to apply what we learn. So after having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual way of life, thinking and doing all things that are pleasing to you. For you, Christ, are God, you are light. And to you, we give glory, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, for now and forever, the sages. Amen. The Lord is our shepherd. And good morning. Welcome back. So great is faithfulness. Indeed, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So God's presence. Joshua, chapter 1, verse 5, name the Father, Son. And the Holy Spirit. No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. I will be with you, just as I was with Moses. I will not leave you or forsake you. In the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God's assignment for Joshua might have caused him some concern. Being the successor to Moses was no small task. Through Moses, God had turned the waters in Egypt into blood, part of the Red Sea, destroyed the Egyptian army, and miraculously fed the nation for 40 years. God spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai and gave him his law. Joshua must have wondered how he could follow Moses. To raise any doubt, God assured Joshua that Moses' accomplish, accomplishments had all been due to God's presence. Joshua grew confident because the same God who walked with Moses now walked with him. Joshua chapter 1 verse 6. As you read the accounts of God's miraculous work through men and women in the Bible, you may wonder if God still performs such miracles today. Be assured that the same God who walked with Moses, Joshua, Elijah, Peter, James, John, and Paul now lives within you. No power can defeat the God who guides you. The God who blessed them is just as capable of working out his, pur his purposes through your life. The same God who gave them victory over seemingly invincible enemies provided for them when their own resources were, were insignificant who guided them in their decisions and prepared to work as powerfully in your life today. The heroes of the faith had one thing in common. They were ordinary people with no power of their own. The difference is, is the mighty presence of God. Times may change, but the effects of God's presence remains the same. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Another beautiful reading, another beautiful reflection. God's presence makes all the difference. When we walk with him, we get our strength, him, our strength, our wisdom. It all comes from him. But it comes from a faithful life, right? See, the people we just read about, in all their faults, right, in all their faults, all their imperfections and everything, they had faith. They had loyal hearts, right? They were confident because they saw the wonders of God and they kept the faith. They kept their, their hearts loyal, right? But they kept the faith. That was the thing. They kept the faith. I'm going to share my screen to our closeout. And then we're going to close out. I'm going to close out from a reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 17 through 18. Thank you all so much for following. All right, so here's our closeout. Second Corinthians chapter three, verse 17 through 18, came the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are bearing transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord, and the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The work of the Holy Spirit brings liberty. That was verse 17. Freeing us to what? Behold God and have open access to him. Create as the image of God, we see his uncreated image. 
the Son, the glory of the Lord, verse 18, and also reference 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 4 through 6, in two ways. One, through the Son's deified humanity, and also see 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12, James chapter 1, verses 23 through, through 25. Second, in the power of the Spirit, as we behold him, we become what we are created to be. God is infinite, therefore growing, and his image and glory has no limits. We shall ever see God more clearly and ever be transformed into his likeness in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lastly, this is our closeout. It was the presence of God that led the enemy being trampled under Joshua's feet, just like the way Christ will trample down sin, death, and the devil by his death and resurrection in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The presence of God is a beautiful thing. It's being in the presence of God. It's a beautiful thing. And we all can experience it by living a faithful life. Thank you all again for following. I'm going to close out in our prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord God, you've spoken us your divine saving words. You illuminate the souls of sinners to cover him what we just, just read. That we don't appear simply as hear spiritual words, but doers of good deeds, true pursuers of faith. Having a blameless life and conduct without reproaching Christ our Lord. You are life. To you we give glory. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Of now and forever. I say just. Amen. Our Father, who art in heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory, the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Sages, amen. We depart in peace. In the name of the Lord, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Peace be with you all. Go in peace. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord forgive those who love us and those who hate us. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be merciful to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The sages, amen. May the Lord forgive those who love us and those who hate us. Thank you again so much. And we depart in peace. Have a blessed day. Thank you all so much. Chair Wesley Campbell, good morning, good day, whenever and however these messages find you all. all right. Thank you all so much. JPCE Spiritual Talk, never ever go back. Right. Seek truth by seeking him. You start by seeking him. You give him your heart. He does the rest. It's not about religion. It's a relationship. Right. Remember that the faithful relationship you do his will not your own thank you all so much